Hello and welcome everyone to top 3 gaming news, I am Gibbon Madness. This week there's a lot of games coming out that I'm really excited to play. Games like Control, a new horror game, Blair Witch, another horror game or possibly a new series starting on called Man of Medan. And since I'm a big horror fan, I cannot wait to get my hands into one of these games or both. And since this week has a lot of gaming news, let's just jump right into that one. The next season of Rocket League starts tomorrow and a day after that is Rocket Pass 4 with items to unlock with free versions and paid versions. Mudcat is the new car which is unlocked when you buy the premium Rocket Pass. It is inspired by rally cars and there is a G1 version at tier 25 and a GXT version at tier 70 as shown in the trailer. You will have quite a long time to unlock tiers as this rocket pass doesn't end until December 4. As usual the premium version costs 10 keys which comes to $10 or you can spend 20 keys to skip straight to tier 12. People who care a lot about rocket league rankings need to get ready to get re-ranked. And yep that also means that I don't play this game. Yakuza games are wonderful things of their own and the player fan base has increased ever since the game of Yakuza 0 was released on PC last year. Sega announced that Yakuza 3, 4 and 5 will be remastered and released on PS4 in a single combined package called Yakuza Remaster Collection. VG247 spoke with the producer and the director of Yakuza 3 about the special announcement as well as is there any possibility that the remaster collection is coming to PC and all he has to say, I can't comment at this moment but I wouldn't say that won't happen. So if a director of Yakuza 3 is saying that it is possible, which means it's coming to PC. There's no speculations needed, there's no rumors to be talked about, it's coming, the remaster collection is coming to PC. You can thank me later by subscribing to my channel. Halloween is coming. Even though we are two months too early into it, but we can keep the Halloween spirit, right? You know? But apparently, you can now know how Rainbow Six Siege's character will look like when Halloween will come around. Because it's been leaked. That's how the news are made. The link comes via obu 23 underscore, which shows Halloween skins for Doc, Kaplan, Bandit, ELA, Vigil, Smoke, and Frost. There are also new skins for Kavira and Gridlock, although they are not Halloween related. Frost's face is split into a monstrous, sharp toothed grin and horns poking out of her scalp are just icing on the cake. Smoke's skin turns himself into a sewer monster of some kind and some really interesting looking skin. So all of these skins, they look really good. Last year, Six Siege ran a special haunted house style event for Halloween and offered up themed skins for 10 operators while making the previous year's spooky skins available as well. Hopefully this year that can happen again so that we can get the previous Halloween costumes again, you know, because I don't play that much Six Siege anyway. Well, that was it for this week of top three gaming news. Let me know in the comments below which game are you excited for and are you excited for Yakuza 3, 4 and 5 to get remastered and come to PC? Make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe and enable that notification bell icon. It also makes a ting ting sound if you do that right now. It's it's a special thing for my channel. And don't forget to join Gamer Connect community if you haven't already. This was me Gaming Madness and that was Gaming News.